Lee Gilmore, oh, what a shot! I joined from July from Glasgow Rangers. This is where I live here in Diggs. My house parents are very good, Leslie and Dom. Then I shared with another boy called Deshaun who also joined in the summer there. And this is my room. So I've got my telly. Come back in from training, I'll just chill, watch some uh, movies on Netflix, or I'll even play in my PS4 where I play FIFA and give some of the boys a teaching. And before I joined, uh, my mum and dad and my little brother gave me a wee memento, a pillow, just saying how far I'm from home. This is my roommate, Deshaun Redden, and this is us going to training at 8.40. This is a dining room, um, having my breakfast, having toast, eggs and beans, just before I train to give me a wee bit of energy. Uh, so I have enough fuel to play football and play well. And you can go to the dietitian, he can tell you what's good to eat and what's not good to eat and just kind of give you help and give you the best advice. As a fellow midfielder, uh, I look up to Cesc Fabregas and the Chelsea first team. And what I'm doing here is analysing his game and putting stuff from his game into my games so I can make myself as an overall midfielder much better. And this is just parts of his game that I'm taking from. So range of passing, uh, how he moves the ball quick, how he gets out of small tight spaces and makes the pitch much big. Yeah, it's all good. You're watching Fest Test Labgrass. This is my IEP sheet, which meaning individual action plan. It's all about how to make myself better as a football player. So well, red as in meaning I really need to work on it. Uh, amber meaning it's good but I can improve. And green also meaning but it's very good but also not going to have a green there. So well, stuff I need to work on is speed and power, variation of passing of both feet, finishing, work rate and influence of the ball and set piece deliveries. It's 10 o'clock now, I'm off to training to do some IEP work which involves finishing and then after that I've got the gym. During training today uh, I've done some longer passing with both feet, some clip passes, some zing passes on the floor and then after that I went to a shooting related drill which was I passed into the striker, just sets me off or punches it back to me so I take a first touch and then strike off and it has to be in between the post and the mannequin. And then I just got mannequins, so I practiced three kicks and some of them came off really good today. It's just keep practicing. One, once you get like the hang of it, obviously, and you start to get the feel of the ball, it's good to see it come off and start to get good goals. Doing gym quite a lot. Like most of my days uh, after training, I'll stay behind and do a lot of gym work with Sam, and he's been very helpful for that. It's a lot of power related, uh, upper body and leg work, which has been hard and tough, but I can feel it benefiting for me. Very important part of the game now. As you can see, most of the players are getting physically bigger and more powerful, like the Pogba's, the big boys, and Bakayoko. A lot of powerful people. So I think, also I'm not going to be that tall, but I need to get myself powerful and core strength needs to be uh, crucial for me. Just finished lunch. The club put on several workshops like driving awareness today, it's media train. So just finished media training, it was different, it was enjoyable to find out uh, other ways you can come across the game or what the outside world was thinking. Some of the questions they try to put tricky. It was quite good when you started to get a hang of it, you felt confident and you started to smile and relax a bit more. Hopefully, I'll give you an insight of my day here at training at Cobham. Thanks for watching.